Hey y'all, Oracle Scarlet Dragon here, and I wanted to do some readings. Uh, this one is kind of like what's going on with the collective energy at this time, and I'm just picking up on with the earth, because we have Gaia here. There's a lot of destruction energy going around. Um, you know, people feeling desperation, loss, energy, maybe feeling disconnected from creation, God, source, especially, you know, how things are now in this time, especially if you're someone who just watches the news all the time, which I wouldn't recommend uh, watching the news, really, because we really can only control ourselves. We can't control everything around us. I mean, you see that the mind control or control meant... <laughs> Govern Mente uh, is not doing too well on, you know, controlling everything. It's just not possible. You know, through manipulation, people can do some control. Uh, it's just not the right way, though. And, you know, it, it will it'll do a hit back. It always will do a hit back. So, but I feel like, I don't know, with Gaia here and creation, it's like a powerful energy of the earth and source. I feel like giving life and also uh, trying to balance things out. You know, because here we always have to have a uh, balance. So, that's the way we can live and learn and grow, evolve. Um, but I feel like many of us are also in, you know, a creative type energy to create the kind of life and area that you want to see. That's also what that destruction is, I believe, up here as well. Because things have to change. Things are always changing. All the time, things can't stay the same. Or it's like it's dying. It all, everything always kind of renews. Um... Let's see, with this desperation, I feel like many people are just having trouble calming themselves, feeling like they need to be in survival mode, not connecting with source as well, being very disconnected. Needing to get out in nature, needing to realize that there is really nothing to worry about. If you have faith in spirit and source, you'll always be shown where you can get food, where you can rest. I mean, that everything will always be provided for. The, the, the earth can provide everything. So there's no need to be in this desperation type feeling everyone needs to slow down breathe you know relax the mind so that we can create and do different things um, I wanted to read a little bit of this uh, I lost the page for a moment patient with me 
It's good to have some patience. All right. So speak your truth lovingly. Try to be patient and know you deserve love. Draw upon your past experiences to grow stronger. Remember your worth to truly stand in your power. Disregard any opinion that states differently and, and shine your light. So, and I think that goes with a lot of people being wary of empty promises, you know, feeling alone in this place. Um, just feeling abandoned, maybe by spirit. Which you're not. You gotta realize spirit is always around. You just have to pay attention. You have to make sure that you are following your inner guidance. Your intuition. God. Source. You will always receive signs and things like that. Let's see. We got Baba, Yo Baba Yoga. Let's see what hers says real quick. Okay, with this loss. Spend time connecting with the force. Um, don't lose sight of who you are. Something that has been lost to you will return. Don't lose faith. Something is being hidden from you. Hmm. All right. But I do believe all these go together with... Just many things that's going on on earth right now. People feeling lost, desperation. Um, and, I mean, they are trying to take the earth away from us. Make us pay for everything. You know, blocking us. People, I uh, was just seeing on some news about China. Um, where they were gating the apartments. Gating everything to where people couldn't leave their houses i mean it's just yeah wild but i mean i feel like it's been wild for a long time and everything's slowly been changing and yeah it's, that's just how it's gonna be it's evolving we're just here in it so sometimes it can feel overwhelming because we have to go through the experience of living, you know, in this life and in this time. Just like if you think of every other time that has happened um, here in the in the world. So, you know, what could help us with reconnecting with creation and this destruction that's happening on the planet at the same time, but I feel like, you know, it's also balancing out at the same time. Okay, make sure we give blessings. All right, so give. If you, if you can give, give. If it's overdoing, don't overdo. But give what you can give. You know, to the earth, cleaning up, taking care of things, taking care of people. You know, just doing what you can do. Give blessings. Then we have, I care for the earth, and that's a big blessing, taking care of the area around you, um, the environment around you, uh, so we can heal and see a place that we want to see. I also feel like that's duality, you know going to be good with the bad and bad with the good sometimes and uh, a lot of mirroring going on with many things and then honor animals with reverence so make sure that you're honoring other living beings um, 
because they are a part of creation as well, just like we are. We're just in different bodies, speak different languages, things like that. But we all come from the same place, you know, space, uh, infinity, um, spirit. If you weren't spirit, if you weren't spirit, if you were not spirit or energy, you wouldn't be alive right now. <laughs> and the the beings wouldn't be alive. I follow my inner guidance. Also, what's going to help us in this time in the world and what's going on and around us is following your intuition, your third eye, spirit, listening to that voice within, listening to what some people would say God or source, uh, the signs that you're receiving to let you know that you're on the right path. And which way you're supposed to do and what you're supposed to do to help guide you. So, and that's always the biggest thing in what we can do. And then it's something that can help us. It, it'll always guide you the right way if you just listen to it, your intuition. It'll always guide you to the right way. When you sit there and, you know, ignore your intuition... That's that's when all the bad things happen. It's it's always when all the bad things happen, and uh, I mean everyone's had has the, those experiences. So, I mean, and there be times that we still are not listening to our inner voice on some things, and, and it's just like, oh well, see, that's why that's why you have this karma because uh, you didn't listen in this spot, and that, that's why that's going on right now. So. We'll see when you wake up and listen about it. <laughs> so. Alright, y'all. I just wanted to do a little bit of uh, energy read for us. So kind of what's going on right now with everyone and what we need to do. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And I will talk to you guys later. Remember to create the reality that you want to see. Your spirit, you exist. You do have control over yourself to be able to, you know, do what you need to do. Be in a place that you want to, you know, believe in and live in. Alright, I love y'all. Bye.